Hi everybody, welcome back to Cruise Blog. Thanks for tuning in today. We're gonna be comparing Royal Caribbean's Coco K with MSC's Ocean K, and we'll decide which one is better. Stay tuned to find out. All right, let's be real. What is there not to love about visiting a cruise line's private island in the Bahamas? You have white sand, beaches, crystal blue waters, and incredible views. That's a yes please any day of the week for me. Royal Caribbean's Perfect Day at Coco Cay and MSC's Ocean Cay MSC Marine Reserve both have two fantastic private islands located in the Bahamas. I had the opportunity to explore both of them, seeing all that they had to offer. Equally stunning, both islands are incredible but have different amenities and distinct vibes from each other. Food options, drinks, pools, activities, bars, and cabanas were all tested to see how the two islands stacked up against one another. And here's what I found out. First, let's do an overview of the island, and we'll start with Ocean K. MSC's private island is located in the Western Bahamas, about 20 miles south of Bimini. Once an industrial site, MSC has redeveloped the island into a serene paradise for its guests. The cruise line has placed significant emphasis on conservation and sustainability in the rejuvenation of Ocean K, providing unique excursions and activities, including snorkeling on newly revived reefs. The revitalized retreat offers cruisers the opportunity to get an authentic island experience with eight beaches and water activities that feature the restored marine life of the area. The island does not have giant slides and pools, but rather provides numerous beach and water activities, including evening activities. Now let's compare that with Coco Cay. Coco Cay is located in the Barry Islands of Bahamas, less than a day's journey from Florida. It is an immensely popular spot on many Royal Caribbean itineraries, and cruisers love the wide range of things to do on this island. Royal Caribbean invested a whopping $250 million in upgrading this exclusive island, making it one of the premier destinations in the Caribbean. The 125 area private destination gives guests tons of options, including a chill beach day or high energy thrills. There's a wide selection of activities and areas to explore that every cruiser will enjoy. With a number of stunning beaches, a water park, floating cabanas, a wave pool, a massive oasis lagoon, and lots of included amenities, guests will find plenty of ways to stay cool. Now let's compare the location and itineraries of these two private destinations. Both cruise lines private destinations are part of the 700 island chain of the Bahamas, which has warm weather all year round. Given their proximity to Florida, these exclusive cruise destinations are frequent ports on both Eastern and Western itineraries, along with short weekend cruises. The Bahamas are known for their crystal clear water and soft sand beaches. Snorkeling, kayaking, and boating are all popular activities that guests enjoy at these ports of call. There isn't a significant difference in terms of the two islands topography. They're both flat, made from limestone rocks with soft sand beaches. Both have ample landscaping and calmer lagoon type areas for easy access to the ocean, which is ideal for families. Coco K and Ocean K have docks, so there's no need for you to tender, and this is a major plus for cruisers. There is transportation from the pier to all the beaches and amenities on both islands. Next, let's compare activities and entertainment, and we'll start with Coco K. Coco Cay offers a wide range of activities and amenities on the island to suit cruisers of any age. The Oasis Lagoon is the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean and has a fun atmosphere with a swim-up bar. There are plenty of beaches throughout the island, such as Chill Island, South Beach, the Harbor Beach, and that is an ideal place for families. There is full range of water activities such as kayaking, snorkeling, and jet skis, as well as Splashaway Bay, which is a complimentary kids' aqua park. A centerpiece of the island is its Thrill Water Park. For an additional fee, guests are treated to sky-high water slides, the tallest in the Caribbean. They also have a wave, an adventure pool, and cabanas throughout the island. Guests have access to free chairs and loungers all around the island as well. Land-based activities include volleyball, basketball, table tennis, giant chess, and entertainment throughout the day. Other activities for a fee include zip lining, balloon rides, and shopping. A major highlight of the island is the Coco Beach Club, with dreamy over-the-water bungalows, a restaurant, a bar, and an infinity pool. Guests of the beach club can indulge in lobster and steak in a stunning open-air restaurant. Now let's compare that to Ocean K. There are eight different beaches on Ocean K with lifeguards on duty at most. 
North and South Beach are perfect for families with kids as the water is shallow and calm. There are also palm trees for shade and umbrellas that can be rented throughout the day. Sunset Beach is the longest beach on the island and it's a perfect spot to enjoy water activities. There are no pools on Ocean K, which is a significant difference from Coco K. There are plenty of places to swim, snorkel, paddleboard, boating, and catamaran sailing. On land, guests can enjoy a lighthouse climb, yoga, soccer, volleyball, dance classes, bocce ball, spa services, and shopping. The main ambiance on the island has several colorful Bahama-style buildings with shop and amenities. A standout at Ocean K is its evening events. Ships can stay late in the night, providing guests with fun activities such as an authentic Junkanoo Parade, a traditional Bahaman event with colorful costumes, music, and dancers. After that, cruisers are treated to a dance party by the island's iconic lighthouse. Next, let's compare food and beverages, and we'll start with Ocean K. There are plenty of complimentary food options on Ocean K. Seeker's Food Court is an open-air venue that offers a buffet of barbecue classics with some Bahama flair. There are food trucks like beach shacks throughout the island that serve hot dogs and hamburgers, which are also free. A lunch buffet is offered on board to guests who prefer to return to the ship as well. Sweet guests can enjoy their own special meal while on the island at the Ocean House Restaurant. Additional options and cost include the Smiling Fish and Coffee Bar, which has a huge array of ice cream. It's also a classic coffee spot that serves freshly brewed whole bean and ground coffee, espresso, and cappuccinos. There are also a lot of bars on the island, including the Unique Lighthouse Bar, which is adjacent to the 100-foot lighthouse. A casual spot, this is great for drinks and music, including a live DJ. For an authentic island hangout, try Springer's Bar in the marina area. Let's compare this to Royal Caribbean's Coco K. Similarly, Coco K has a number of free food venues, including the Snack Shack, which is legendary for its chicken sandwich. There's also the Chill Grill and Skipper's Grill with an assortment of food choices. Royal Caribbean fans love the island's mozzarella sticks, which is a perfect afternoon snack. For a more upscale experience, cruisers can dine on filet mignon and lobster at the Coco Beach Club for an additional price. The Serene Beach Club is a different pace from the rest of the island, and it's a perfect spot for a more intimate setting for those wanting to splurge and make the day even more special. Captain Jack's and the Swim Up Bar and the Lively Oasis Lagoon are two of the eight popular places to grab drinks on the island, and passengers will love to hear that their drink packages also work while they're at Coco Cay. So what are the key takeaways? What's great about Coco K? Well, I would say that it has tons of different choices, including complimentary activities, has tons of fantastic beach and pool options, including high energy, fun areas, along with quiet spots. This is a great family destination, and there will surely be something to please everybody from young and old, families and cruisers of all types. The first thing that you'll notice about the island, beyond its beautiful landscape, is color. The thrilling water slides, the hot air balloon, and the pier are all vibrant with pops of yellow and red. Royal Caribbean has really knocked it out of the park with its fun theme at Coco Cay. With tons of options, guests can customize their day at Coco Cay. You can have a fantastic time without spending any additional money, or you can splurge and partake in a wide range of activities and perks. All right, now let's compare that with Ocean K. So what is so great about the island? I would say that this is also a spectacular island. MSC has replanted lots of foliage and brought back native species to make the island feel like a real Bahamas paradise. This island definitely has a more serene vibe throughout the day. One thing that stands out at Ocean K is their nightlife activities as the ships are allowed to stay late in the port. A traditional Junkanoo parade with costumes and music or a DJ dance party at the lighthouse are all fun fun highlights that MSC provides. As with Coco K, you can have a fantastic day without spending any money on the island. Guests in MSC's Yacht Club suites enjoy exclusive access to the Ocean House Beach, Cabanas, and the Ocean House Restaurants, which has an upscale menu of seafood and other culinary delights. Coco K does not have a suite-only area, so that is a difference to consider. All right, so what's the final verdict? There's no doubt that cruisers will have a fantastic time on either of these private islands, and there is plenty to do without spending any money. These islands, however, are different, and which is best boils down to your personal preference. Coco Cay offers slides, pools, and a lot more of the traditional resort and water park attractions. Many of the activities, such as the well-marketed Thrill Water Park, are an extra charge. Their Coco Beach Club and overwater bungalows are superb for those wanting to splurge as well. Ocean Cay on the 
other hand has no pools in keeping with its more natural feel, but there are still plenty of places to swim that are shallow. Has a more quiet paradise feel with plenty of open space. MSC's done an excellent job of making you feel like you have stumbled upon a Bahamas island lost in time. I loved the colorful Bahamian style buildings, including the lighthouse. All right, everybody, that's all we have for today. Comment below which private island you prefer and why. We love to hear what you guys have to say. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to Cruise Blogs so that you can be notified every time we have a new video. It means a lot to us. Thank you, everybody, and happy cruising.